taser cartridges. Okay. Right, so take out your taser. This is sort of outdated because there's literally no bullet drop with this taser anymore, is there? I'm pretty sure there isn't. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh it's pretty good, so Taser is yellow, it is plastic, it will shock somebody and it will make them become incapacitated. Um, two cartridges at the targets against the wall, standing at different ranges. Okay, so we're going over here apparently to shoot at these targets, but um, I guess you could shoot these targets. Like I feel like if we stand over here to you know, shoot the ones like in front of us. So, uh, yeah, you can definitely get them. Yeah, go. Missed, but I hit the ball. Hit the wall. Did it? Okay, so it's hitting it, but um. Yeah, I see not. Okay, I guess that's just broken. I guess. I guess it doesn't register. Um, it might be the whatever the different thing. Um. There's no red dot in the taser, is it? There? No red dot anymore? Nope, no red dot anymore. Um, what do you say before you taste somebody? Okay. Uh, um, there is no light, so that is incorrect. And it's sometimes best to wait for the sus to run out of stamina before you taste them. Uh, um, okay. Our name, I'm gonna pray to you, cadets. Gonna. Our two cadets together, but we don't have any cadets, so let's see each other. So, we do a Mexican standoff version of Hayden where you have to face away. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go. Ah, uh, so, two cadets together, 10 yards of. Okay. Ah, uh, so actually, we don't actually. So, what I have to do is apparently I have to run, and then. Uh, I don't really need to do this because you you just tase me. Like it's not about like you know what I mean. There's no other cadets, so I don't need to tase you. You just need to try tase me. I'm gonna run around, and you can just try and tase me. And then if you do, I guess that's successful. It's just once it's yeah, okay. Go try tase me. Yep, that's pretty fucking effective. Oh my god, I'm actually like wounded. Fucking hell. Yeah, it wounded me. It wounded me like three three times. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's bandage myself or uh Oh, uh, am I broke? I'm broke. I'm actually not bleeding though. Oh my god, it's uh two bruises and a taser dart, but now I'm oh, no, I'm not broke actually. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, disregard it. It's fine, it's fine. That was weird. Uh so here to hit my panic button, fucking good one. Anybody can pull out a taser dart now by the way. And then I've just got a bruise and a two bruises, which is fine. Got ice packs. Okay. Now you have uh, completed your taser locations. So now I'm just going to be explaining the use of force uh, presence, which is spot wrong in the SOPs and verbal. So as a law enforcement officer, we're entrusted with the ability to escalate the lethal force if needed. That level of responsibility is not to be taken for granted. For that reason, the command staff has outlined a strict use of force policy that asks from presence, verbal orders, unlethal and lethal force. The first level of force is presence. In most cases, the simple presence of a law enforcement officer arriving on scene will enough to de-escalate a volatile situation. In the event one uses level one use of force fails, we escalate the verbal commands. Verbal commands are the second level of force we stay at for the longest duration. There are exceptions to this rule, of course, if a weapon is reached for or presented, or if the officer feels generally that his other his or other's life is immediately at risk, then we skip all other levels of force and escalate the lethal. However, with that said, verbal force will escalate almost all situations. Escalation past this point almost always ends in arrest. For verbal commands can be things such as show me your hands, what's going on here tonight, and giving you a lawful order to leave the area and more. Have backup nearby if you believe a suspect will give you a better reaction to your verbal orders. Verbal force is not always authoritative, but it, when it escalates to a direct order, 
It must be said with a stare down a confident voice. Do you understand that? So if I was to give you a verbal uh, says that would come up here and I wanted you to leave, obviously, you're at the shooting range, I'd say, uh, Deputy, or Senior Deputy David White, first down Sheriff's Department, um, giving you a lawful order. We're not talking about that, uh, no. Immediately. Uh, you need to say that strongly and firmly and stuff. Okay. B, did you see the guy? Okay, so... <laughs> Bef6 explaining the use of force. Taser and lethal. If verbal force has failed, and the suspect is still not cooperating with direct commands, we escalate the non-lethal use of force, which is level 3. This... Yeah, level... Yeah, so you have level 1 as presence, level 2 is your verbal commands, and then level 3 is taser slash lethal. So, uh, yeah, that's, um, no, Taser is level 3. I don't, it says Taser slash lethal here for some reason. Uh, but level of force, this level of force when officers use their Taser, all sheriff deputies should aim for the center mass. After the suspect is hit, should be able to stop them. Excessive force with the Taser can lead to injury or death of the suspect. If possible, the sheriff deputy should warn the suspects beforehand that they do not cooperate with lawful orders. They will be tased. So, when you're chased after somebody, you know, you have to announce yourself. There's time sheriff's department, stop or you will be tased. You before you tase them. Sort of. So, just make sure you call out. After a successful taser deployment, call for a supervisor and call for FIFR. FIFR must treat the suspect. Um, obviously, I pulled that taser dart out myself. But if you actually tase somebody and uh, um, they pull the taser dart out itself, that's not good enough because it could lead to a lawsuit for us. So, you need to make sure that you call FIFR. You understand that? If all other use of force level has failed, then we must escalate the level four lethal force. Whenever a suspect has put the lives of others at immediate risk of bodily injury, then lethal force is authorized to stop them. All sheriff's deputies have established this force. Uh, this level of force required to aim for center mass. As a general guideline, we follow the rule of two to the chest and one to the head. This will almost always he sees the threat immediately or as i like to call it two to the head not 0.5 seconds apart will definitely seize well. them immediately i'll get burke um okay got a question for you if a suspect shoots at officers then hops away hops into a car and drives away but crashes the car and disables it are they still code red Um, FI, the FIS use of force SOPs is stricter than the use of force policies of all our factions. Deputy cannot shoot just because an all our faction is shooting. FIS officers are only allowed to use lethal force if the FIS SOPs allow them to. So make sure you read over that. Okay, use of force reports. All sheriff deputies required to submit Kyle, force reports Martin. must be accompanied with video evidence with timestamps. Um, I got them. If you need a bounce, that's fine. Yep. Right, so. Sounds good. Um, For anybody well, that doesn't hear about company support phone support numbers, when somebody buys a company, company phone, phone uh, uh, will it call um, anybody that has the phone number or form? just the main person? Human resources is certified the view to use of force reports and any wrongdoing over met with severe discipline. Failure to file use of force reports within 24 hours of the situation. So the company phone number, when you buy one, it, like, when you, discipline and like when somebody not, calls the phone, only the person that bought the phone number can actually answer it. If the taser cartridge does not come into contact with a suspect, so, uh, if the taser cartridge was coming into contact with the suspect, then the sheriff's deputy must submit a use of force. If, if a taser is used against the suspect, the taser cartridge does come into contact with the suspect, the use of force report is not required. So, if you don't hit them, don't submit it. You must also, uh, you submit a use of force them. report for every discharge of your firearm, even if it's accidental. Understand that? Okay, now we're going to do the lethal force. Still the same. 
firearms court. Okay. Um, Very nice. Yeah, that, that's really helpful, strain and session. I appreciate that knowledge. Right, let's go. We're going over here to the. We're going over here to the last thing. Yeah. Um, we're just going to practice some uh, different stances now, so you can take out your firearm that I supplied you with at the beginning of the session. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna practice our different stances. So this is your. Uh, crouch, and you can sort of peek up over obstacles, and you can also peek down. So this would be like, you can use this to gain like, I think I'm, maybe I'm, I think I'm below. If I sit like this, I think I'm below it, and I can peek. If I can peek like that, but now I'm below it, so those suspects down there couldn't shoot at me. Uh, for example, if I peeked up like this, to shoot at them, that would be uh, a way, um, yeah, and I would also I'd advise using the iron sights for best accuracy. Um, you can use whatever gun you want from the shop. A lot of people are using the new gun, the P226. So I'm tempted to switch to it. I've used this. I haven't gotten a gunfight in a while, so I might switch to this one. I know the new one, I'm not too sure, but it's a 15 round mag, the Glock's a 17. Uh, they both can take a flashlight. It's very important to reload after you empty a whole magazine. I, I reload every time I shoot, to be honest, because I'm terrified of running out of ammo. Uh, um, okay. Nope. Oh, that's fake news. Uh, now I have to announce that the Elk City range is live. Elk City range is live. Um, okay, keep in mind, stuff on the island is bulletproof, uh, windows and houses, some cars under stationary fences, you know, you know this, like, you've been around a while. Um, try and make sure you have cover as well, um, pretty much the, uh, uh the best way to win a gunfight is from behind cover, um, if you're standing out exposed. Um, if I'm standing behind that barrier there, and you're standing over there, I'm gonna win the gunfight. Uh, so now we're gonna we're gonna get the uh, we're gonna you like shoot from behind cover. So we're gonna shoot from behind my car. I just uh, threw you keys there. I'm well, apparently I didn't, but I'm gonna throw you keys now. Um, to my vehicle is parked over there. If you wanna grab it, I just need to attend to something out of my head a second. There you go. Just bring it over here and set it up. Oh, you're in the car. <laughs> I'm not here buying the car. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Another thing. Do you hear me, Cal? Okay. Another thing that's really important is crossfire. 
You need to make sure that you know where the other officers are they're on scene. Uh, try not to be in the direction of another officer's gun. It would be very, very dangerous. Um, okay. Okay, now I want you to take down the target from behind the cover of a vehicle, which you're ready, and use the different stances. Okay. Yep, ready. Oh, that's just one. Take them all down. Okay, now I imagine that uh, me and you are partnered up. And if I can manage to pull my gun out. We're down here and there's five suspects at the end. Anyone there. responding? So, I think there's five, is there? Yeah, respond. No, there's six. So I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna get out of the car here, and I've got, you're on their left, you're on my left, and I'm on their right, so we're both gonna take them down, you're gonna take down the three, uh, three ones on their, the left, and I'm gonna take them on the right. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Okay. Um, now next we're gonna do a take down targets from the sandbag position, so when your gun's not in use, and they're still threat, I'd advise you to lower it. Uh, you can hit your control muscle twice to do that, yeah, just so it's not pointed at anybody. Um, it's probably best in case it accidentally discharges. Uh, so now we're going to go with the sandbag position, which is here, uh, not sandbags. So, um, again, yep, yeah, we're going to, I want you to take down all six loose targets as quick as you can from whatever position you feel most comfortable from. Yep. Okay. Lethal force qualification is now complete. So we're gonna do the kill house. We're gonna do the kill house next. Hostage situations. I did not know this was in this thing. Um. So we're gonna do kill house. So there's. Let's uh, switch to 6-3, so training pack. Gun training pack. I'm not afraid! <laughs> <laughs> clear. Okay, so now we're gonna clear the kill house together, uh, you're gonna take lead, um, and you're gonna call it out, so, you know, say, suspect down, clear right, clear left, so you're gonna, you're gonna take control here, and you're gonna, like, call it over the radio, Just make sure you're calling it. I'm gonna say no, right? Suspect.
Suspect on. So let's back on. Oh, Paul, if you're trying to say something, um, you have your way set. Up. So let's back on. So let's back on. Hello? There you, there go. you go. Clear? How's it going? So I'm guessing you don't want to talk about that, Paul? I don't at all, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. Fine. I, I got a notification. Fucking hell. Dude, yeah, I got a 911 text and I know, like, the hint. The notification didn't come up. Did it come up for you? The hint thing? Aw, oh, the 911s aren't loading for me either. Oh fuck right. Uh, I can go to bed. What is going on? I bet you somebody's coming up here thinking there's gunshots. When we did say said out there change his life of me and you're on I'm on the training thing. On the CAD. Where's that oh is my car unlocked out there? Did you don't did you leave it unlock? I hope not. I feel like he did. Really? Sounds like an SD car though. Yeah, there looks like a patrol unit just drove through uh, Elk. Two patrol units, one at the in-point lot, and... Yeah. God knows, could be anything. Uh, uh... Okay, hostage situation procedures. Did anybody go to a mark? I don't think so. Okay. Uh, what am I looking for? Horn length. The SOPs. I'm looking for the SOPs. Okay, so pull up the hostage situation SOPs. Uh. Public relation SOPs? Like. Wait, hostage situation?
There's actually nothing about. There's not a single reference to the word hostage in. Uh, in the. Uh, yeah. Um. Yep. Yeah. Oh, well, uh, let me read. Uh, let me read what's here. Like, well, highest ranking officer. You know yourself. Highest ranking officer. Um. Why do the height ice the hostage and attempt to negotiate before shooting? Uh. When the negotiations are over, they stay over. Can't be started again. Can't, uh, they can never force officers to turn on your speaker. Uh, don't break any FIS policies. Uh, good negotiators should try to get the hostage, but never allow them to ignore policy. Um, after the FTO is finished, they will do their own fake hostage situation. The FTO will take the role of hostage takers. Do not take any of the cadets hostage. Also, cadets will need to be within yelling distance of the hostage. After the hostage hostage situation, the FDO will point out all mistakes that the cadets made and teach them how they can handle it better. Um, I don't even have hostage SOPs. Like, is this even about? Um, okay, so pretend that I have somebody hostage here. Um, looking for 25k. Like, I don't even know how you can, you know what I mean? Like, how can you get this, how can you roll that out? Like, you know what I mean? So, um, I think it'd be better if I asked you situational questions about a hostage situation, so, um, What's the maximum amount you can pay? Pay for a hostage. If uh, you give them, if you grant free passage, do you have to risk it? You have to respect that free passage. Yep. Who takes uh, lead in a hostage situation? Uh, um. What do you do if one of the hostage takers shoots a hostage? Do you have to wait any time after calling negotiations off before lethal force? The negotiations have to be called off before lethal force can be used. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy enough for that then. Uh, FTO, your next day of training is about driving and traffic stops. You can keep your guns and mags uh, and make sure you do your SOP test and your GoPro check. Have you done that? Um, obviously, make sure you have enough guns and tasers and all works and being caught short before you go on duty. Um, okay. Any questions or concerns? Um, right, watch a second. We're on the air, right? Training log. Hal Freeman. Yeah, you didn't get. Yeah, that would not, not have been fun if you, uh. Got him. Made me do day one. I'm not doing your day one. I'm not even gonna do it next week. Find somebody else do it. <laughs> uh, I'll joking. I'll do it next week. Joking. I'll do it next week. Get some DOJ member to do it. it used to, yeah. We used to do. We used to get a uh, J member to do it, and it was far better. Like they know it better than we do. Like I know it, but the way I explain it's probably not good. So, yeah, okay, you're on there, your day is done, uh, yeah, I'll do that, I'll just class you for whatever time I I have on my clock time whenever I, are you going there, or, wait, what was it?